Hello, Lord, students, lords and ladies of the second grade court. And we're going to make some butter today. We are. <laughs> we're going to make some butter. Alrighty. So, uh, let's see. Maybe it would work best if I put the cam, put the computer over here. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. The flowers. Let's get the flowers out of the way. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we are going to make some butter today because in the Middle Ages, people used um, kind of a. It was a big bucket called a butter churn, and let's see, I have some information about it here. And the butter churn, yeah, it was kind of like a big bucket that they would put the cream in. And then they would stir it and stir it and stir it for quite a while until eventually it turns into butter. And when they were making the butter, they would sing a little chant and they would say, come butter, come, come butter, come. Can you guys sing it with me? Come butter, come, come butter, come. And so that's what, they, that's what they would do in the Middle Ages. So we are going to pretend that we are in the Middle Ages and we are making butter. So, what we need to make butter is we need some heavy whipping cream. Um, so I have some whipping cream, and then we need some containers for the for the cream, which will turn into butter. So you can ask your parents if you have some kind of a small container at your house to make butter. Um, any kind of small container will do. And um, I actually went to school the other day, and I borrowed. We have some little containers that we use each year. And so those look like this. So I have a little container for Sophia here and one for Henrik. So they're just these little containers. A lot of times if you have um, like an old, if your parents has um, some spices in the spice cabinet, if there's one that's almost empty, you could ask if they could wash it out and then you could use it. But really any kind of small like Tupperware or something like that. You have some more things that you could. Um, like that big jar, Mama. Oh, like here would be another good one. Like these little Tupperware containers that we use to put like sauces in and stuff. You see something else? Well, yeah, that one's for later, honey. So don't bring that over yet. Okay. So what we do, oh yeah, you could use that too. Thank you. Okay, Henrik wants to show you. You could also use like a jar, like a mason jar. Um, this would kind of make a lot. But... There's jars outside, Daddy. Yep, so we're gonna use those later. All right, so let's put a little bit of cream in our containers and see if we can make some butter. Yeah, Mama, can that big one also be mine because I picked it out? Well, right now we're just gonna do little ones. Here we have some whipping cream. So you could ask your parents if you could get some whipping cream. And then what we if do. If you have any whipping cream, you yeah. can just get it and then ask the parents who did the cup. Right. That's right. And we were eating some donuts today. If you're wondering, Henrik has a little bit of donut on his face. I like my <laughs> You licked yours off. Okay. So you're going to go like this. You're going to fill it about halfway. Oh, that's a little more than halfway. Or a third of the way. Or maybe I filled this one a little too much because we want to have some room to be able to shake it. So we want to let a little bit of air in there. Okay, you can put on the, the top. And this one is Henrik, so we're going to put it in here. And yeah, fill it up a little bit. Make sure there's some space in there so some air can get in. So when we shake it, and before we shake it, let's make sure that it's on totally tightly so we don't have whipping cream all over our kitchen. I'm going to get a little napkin for that. And let's check to make sure this one's all closed up. There we go. I think yours is good, Henrik. So what we're going to do then is we're going to shake them. And again, before you shake them, make sure they're completely closed. Okay. And then you're just going to start shaking them. Come, butter, come. 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 And I started mine earlier. Mine looked like this, and we're shaking it. Come, butter, come. Come, butter, come. You guys sing it with me? Come, butter, come. Come, butter, come. 
Come by, come, come by, come, come by, come, come by, come. Okay, now you actually have to shake this for like 10 minutes. So it does take a while. So what you could do is you could shake it and then every now and then you could check. So like with Sophia's, we can check to see, did we make butter yet? And butter is when the, the cream will kind of start to stick together and, and change sort of from a liquid into kind of like more of a solid. So is it butter yet? Nope. Nope, we can see some bubbles forming, but it's still pretty liquidy. Yeah. But let me show you what would happen. Yeah. Yours is still pretty liquidy. So we gotta yeah, keep shaking these. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna keep shaking about 10 yeah. minutes, but I wanna show you what it looks like when it's done. You guys ready? This one I shook earlier for about 10 minutes. And then when I open it up, you wanna see it? Ooh, look at that. Oh. Ooh. So I'll show you guys. And you can see it looks kind of like fluffy <coughs> butter. Cover your mouth, honey. Into your elbow already. So it looks like this. And then when it's done, you can get some crackers or a piece of toast or bread and spread it on there and taste the butter that you made. It's really kind of fun. So I have some crackers here. And you can use any kind of cracker, but at school we like to use these ones that already have a little bit of salt on them um, because this butter doesn't have any salt in it. It still tastes good, but it's kind of nice to have some kind of salty crackers, and then you put the bread or the butter on there. So, I'll get a little knife here, and they pretty good. So what we do is, we just tried the crackers. So you can take the butter, there's the butter, and then we spread it on a cracker. And then, you can see, look at that, it looks like butter. You wanna try one, sweetie? <laughs> Sophia's not sure if she wants to try one. She don't need to make one for me. Oh, you don't want to try it? No, I can make my oh, own. Oh, you want to make your own, okay. I make my own. Oh, you also want to make your own, okay. Well, you guys can make your own, and Miss Taylor will try our butter. It's good. Mmm. It's pretty good. Nice and creamy. All right, so. I know something. If you feel the liquid bouncing up and down, that, then you know it's not. That's right. Mm -hmm. So Sophia said, if you're shaking it, and you can still kind of feel the liquid jiggling around in there. That means you you need to keep shaking it more and more. So yes, that's a really good idea. Yep, and let's keep it closed. I so yeah, you can hear it too. Hold it up to your ear. You can still hear that it's liquid. And then when I was shaking mine, I I started feeling like oh yeah it doesn't feel like liquid that much anymore i think and then you can carefully check it and then if it's still liquid close it and shake it some more come butter yeah. come 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 butter, come come butter, come come butter, come 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 all right so good luck making your butter and have a great rest of the day bye, bye.